Welcome back, Patriots. I'm Boy Stater Peyton Nelson. And I'm a blind mouse, Dawson Otto. And welcome back to HTTV, where we tell you what's up. So let's jump into the calendar for this week. Um, We'll tell you some results from volleyball and cross country from this week. So on Tuesday, the Lady Patriots travel, or just the Hitchcock, I guess, and played Iroquois. And Dawson Otto had eight kills. Elizabeth Salmon had six, and Ashley Massett had five. Um, serving aces, Kennedy had five, Elizabeth had 11, and Cassidy Johnson had five. And Kennedy had 11 digs, Elizabeth had six, Cassidy and Trajan both had six also. And for the Highmore Herald game, it was also in Hitchcock. Dawson Otto had 10 kills, Ashley Massett had nine, and Cassidy Johnson had 10. And for Diggs, we had 12 for Dawson Otto, 20 for Elizabeth, and 14 for Cassidy. Um, the Lady Patriots won against Iroquois, but fell short in the Highmore Herald game. Here are some results from the Potter County Cross Country Invitational that took place on the 15th. In the boys 5K run for varsity, Zach Gilbert got 20th, Raymond Cole got 24th, Cody Wright got 25th, Tyus Waldner got 28th, and Jack Muzma got 30th. In the girls 5K run for the varsity, Jessica Godfrey got 20th, Danielle Noel got 23rd, and Camping McNeil got 24th. The junior varsity 4K run, Mesa Baum got 15th, and Jed Walner got 18th. And then in the girls 4K junior varsity, Kinsey Vandewerf got 20th. Also last Friday, the boys traveled up to Falcon to take on the Trojans in a very intense, very close game where the boys were defeated 22 to 14. So good luck to the rest of the sports activities for the week. Um, today we have volleyball at Miller and that is pink night. So come out and support that. And we have a couple birthdays, Colleen with Jacob Haig and Myron with. So happy birthday to them. Uh, tomorrow, the 21st, it is uh, the last day of homecoming with all the floats, parade. Uh, football versus Tia Spazina is at Hitchcock. And it is also Darren Wick's birthday that they do. And on Saturday, the 22nd, we have volleyball at the Sanford tournament. And that's in Sioux Falls. And we have junior high volleyball in here on at JVC. So good luck to the Patriots. Jumping over to the Monday, the 24th, we have cross country at Miller, and junior high football, JV football, and elementary football. Where? I don't know. Tuler. Tuler. Who are they playing? Uh, I think it's a Jamboree, if I remember. Uh, there's also two birthdays that day. It is... Brandon Wirtz, Wirtz and... Hadessa Waldner. We don't know if we said that right, but happy birthday to you guys. Um, on Tuesday the 25th, we have Junior High and Varsity Volleyball at SBA. Wednesday the 26th, there's FFA at Washington Springs. And then next Thursday, we have the 281 Tournament, the start of it, so. And then Friday the 28th, there's football at Langford. So let's jump into our interviews for this week with Coach Nelson and Coach Ah for football and volleyball. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Coach Nelson. So, Coach, tell us about how the last game went against Falkman. Uh, you know, we, we lost, but I thought we played extremely well. Uh, the second half, we really had a completely different team than the first half. Uh, a couple penalties that uh, are a little questionable, I think, uh, uh, determined the outcome of the game. But I was really impressed with the boys' effort, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to moving on in our season here. What can you tell us about the upcoming homecoming game against T.S. Bazina? Well, you know, we played them last year, and we were able to get a win on them. Uh, you know, they're like every team. We prepare for them. Uh, they got some good things going on for them. Uh, and we practice hard this week, and we hope to uh, come out with a big W on homecoming. All right, Coach. Thank you. Back to you. I'm here with Mr. Rapp, and we got a few questions. How was the game against Highmore? You know, Highmore was kind of a disappointment on our part. Um, we outkill them, probably outkill them by about 30-some kills. We still lose the match three to one. Um, you look back, we have way too many errors. We had 40 plus errors in that match. 
and that's what kind of cost us the game. You know, lose by two, three points each set. Um, you know, specifically serving errors was, you know, that we had 14 serving errors that night too. So we, we have to clean it up. We can't continue to have 40 plus errors and, and expect to win matches. How was your thoughts on the Iroquois game? Um, Iroquois came in. I, I, I don't think we definitely we didn't overlook them, obviously. But um, you know, the first set we had again goes back to having made way too many errors. We give them 21 points. And off of those 21 points, 16 are our errors, whether they're serving, hitting, whatever. And then after that, I, I was pretty happy. We, we cleaned up our errors. I think we only had seven in the next two sets, you know, uh, seven in the second set, seven in the third set. So I can live with that. But, again, we got to just cut down on errors, um, you know, and, and right now we kind of hit a rough patch with that for some reason, but we're trying to clean that up. What do you think about the game tonight against Miller? It's going to be a tough game on, on our part. We're going to, like I, I told the girls, we're going to see the best middle hitter in the state in Katie Fernholds. Um, we've kind of tried to go over and practice what we can try to do with her just to slow her down. We're not going to stop her completely. Um, but again, we, it goes back to we have to clean up our, our part of the game too. We have to serve well. We have to clean up our errors. You know, hitting wise, we can't continue to have you know, 30 plus errors each match because, you know, when we get to these better teams, we're not going to be able to compete if we keep doing that. So um, I'm just hoping we go over, we battle strong, we battle, give them a good good match at least and, and play to our potential. That's all we can do. What are your thoughts on the tournament this Saturday in Sioux Falls? Again, the tournament this Saturday, um, it's going to be tough. I mean, we're in the upper division um, out of the two divisions. Um, we get number four ranked Ethan. I think they're like 10 and 1. They just lost their first set to Chester over the week here, first match to Chester. And then we get Grown Area, which is honorable mention in Class A. Then we get a Western Christian out of Iowa, which is uh, ranked number 3 in Class 2A down there. And so we're going to have our hands full. Um, again, like I told the girls, we can't get disappointed. We can't get frustrated. we got to go down. we just got to battle. You know, and if we... Like I told them, if we play to our potential, we go down, we play to our potential, we, and we play like we should be able to play, you know, I'm going to be happy with whatever the outcome is. But if we go down there and we don't play like we're capable of playing, it's going to be kind of a long day. It's going to be kind of a disappointing day on our part. So we're going to see what, what happens Saturday. And, you know, good, good, uh, good teams make you better. And that's what we need to do. we got to get better. In your perspective, what girls have been playing good this season? Well, we're about halfway through. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of up and down, I'd say. I don't know if we kind of expected this um, going in with some of the talent we have and the people coming back with varsity level. Um, you know, I, I think Kennedy Enander right now is, you know, probably our best player right now. I don't want to say our best player, but most consistent player on a nightly basis as far as her setting goes. Um, if we don't have her, we're going to be in a load of trouble. I mean, she just gets to a lot of balls if you ever come to a, ma a match. Um, you know, she's kind of our, obviously our quarterback of our team and, and does a lot of things, you know, tries to move the ball around. Um, you know, hitting wise Dawson, you know, you know, she's batting a, a knee injury right now a little bit, trying to play through it. Um, you know, you could just see last week when she was sitting out how stuff wasn't, I don't want to say really clicking, but, um, you know, you could just see her, we need her leadership on the floor there. And then, you know, really Trajan Flea's really stepped up this, this year and really been playing well, you know, for us in the back row there, trying to really um, trying to hustle after everything and, and trying to, you know, trying to be that leader in the back row. So I think those three players right now at this stretch, you know, are, are probably the ones we kind of look at right now as maybe being the leaders, play, maybe playing the most consistent each and every night out. All right. Thank you, Mr. Opp. Back to you. Thank you for those interviews. And a little public service announcement for this Friday. We have a chili cook-off at Hitchcock for the football game. So come on down, get some chili. It'll be a good time. So now we, uh, the juniors and seniors on Tuesday, went down to the job fair in Redfield. And we have some interviews with some of the kids that went down there. So. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Wyatt Brooker. Hi, Wyatt. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. So I heard you went to the job fair the other day. How was that? It was pretty cool. You got to see a lot of technical and different schools and a lot of job opportunities. They're all really cool. Are you interested in any of the jobs there? Probably a lot of the technical stuff, maybe some electrical work, stuff like that. That's cool. How is homecoming week going? Homecoming's pretty awesome. I mean, 
get to rep Air Bundy. Uh, other than that, all the dress up days have been fun. I don't think we're going to get to play kickball tonight, but we'll get to have something fun going on. Back to you. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea. I'm here with Elizabeth Salmon. So, Elizabeth Salmon, how was the job fair the other day? It was very interesting. Had lots of fun. Um, what job are you most interested in? Um, I was not actually interested in any of the ones that were there. Oh, uh, did what did you learn there though? I got to learn how to put a cast on and put stitches in a banana. Ooh, uh, so how are you liking homecoming so far? Had lots of fun. Dressed up with my twin today. <laughs> okay, back to you. Hi, I'm with Danielle Wright. Hi, Danielle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you went to the job fair the other day. How was that? Pretty fun. There was lots of places to visit and like lots of different jobs. They even had some colleges there to I'll see. I blink. I'm sorry. Thank you for those interviews. So Peyton, how are you like homecoming week? I'm liking it. It's been a good last week for homecoming, my last week for homecoming, and I've enjoyed the dress up days, and it's just been a fun week so far. How about you? I've enjoyed it a lot. We've had a lot of fun days, easy to work with. It's been fun. What was that? What has been your favorite day? Probably Hawaiian day or twin day. I like that one. Those ones are good. How about you? Uh, my favorite was favorite Disney character day, probably, or today, twin triplet day. Who's your twin or triplet? My twin is Ty Hofer. We are boy staters. Who's your twin or triplet? Um, Dannon, Peterson, and Katie Rapton are my triplets, and we're the three blind mice. Awesome. So, that's our recap of homecoming week, with many more to come tomorrow.